Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are going to be talking about the price glitch, which has reviewed the price of AMC to be worth $272. We're also going to be looking at the Adam Aaron checkmate move and many more in the video. So make sure you guys watch until the very end. Now, straight we're going to be taking a look in terms of the price glitch. This is from Edward who talks about AMC price glitch reviewed August 12, 2022 of $272 high 12 days before APE was even issued. So what we can see here during the 12th of August 2022 was obviously priced to hit the high of 272 and now this was 12 days before APE was even issued. So after this reverse split, we have seen many data um, slippage, whether it's glitch, whether it's drill truth to come out for AMC. But the reason why I wanted to cover this, the reason why I think this is very relevant is because if we take a look at AMC and we take a look during these times of um, August, we have to understand that this was during the time where AMC was actually halted. And this is why it's come into my attention and why I want to discuss this was the fact that this was AMC to be worth 272. And again, now that we have the reverse split, seems like many data that was originally hidden away has been exposed to um, the open. And so what we're looking at is, of course, during the times of um, the halt where we saw AMC having the halt on 8th of August, uh, shortly after, obviously, times like this where price has been suppressed, you know, we saw the actual price of AMC to be worth potentially 272 back then and they were of course bringing it down and they were suppressing the price of AMC. Now even after adjusting for um, the reverse split you know we're looking at the price of AMC during the uh, August 12th of 2022 to be worth $147. So even if we account this price to be for after the reverse split, it is still $130 above what it was trading at. And again, why was that the case? Why is it during times where AMC was being halted? And we're seeing data right now leading to the fact that during times like this, where the price is being halted, what we could be potentially, and this is something that we have been talking about in the past before, and potentially right now we are uncovering it, is that, during the times of halt, during when they halt a um, AMC, they are of course trading it in the back in the dark pool, firms with firms, not obviously not re retail investors, to make sure that the price don't explode. And behind the scenes, what they trade was at a price of two hundred seventy-two dollars. And again, it was in the brokers, it was in the platforms. However, it just wasn't in the open market. It just didn't hit the retail market, and we didn't actually see that price. Now, again, this is why I wanted to cover this because this was during the time of AMC halt. So I thought it was very coincidental and very interesting. You know, do comment down below what you guys think about that. But I do think that that is quite a big case. Now. This is the checkmate move that I want to talk about in terms of Adam Aaron. So what Crystal Ball has said is, did it not occur to you that CEO Adam is setting traps for short? They will be watching what is happening, gathering evidence of discrepancies in market cap. Ape was a great way to show proof of synthetics. Investigation is going on. AMC no FINRA, NYSE. Uh, AMC no FINRA, NYSE did nothing. So yeah, I think that this is something that we should definitely consider in terms of Adam Aaron setting up traps for short. Because as we see all of this happening, just like we talked about earlier, we've seen so many things um, come out, whether people want to call it as data glitches or whether it's data slippage or you know, just the truth. We've already seen this with, the, of course, the 272, which again, if we correlate it with the whole, which makes sense. But not only that, some of the things to be looking at is firstly, Swab updated again. The market is so broken. Nobody can get their shit right. I do think AA exposed the naked shorts, but will anything be done about it? So, you know, this is many people agreeing that AA has exposed the naked shorts. AA is exposing the synthetics out there. And again, the key part is will anything be done about it? And just like Crystal Ball has said, and AMC knows FINRA, NYS did nothing, but this is the way that we can then find, we can determine ourselves. We don't need FINRA, we don't need NYSC to invest to do investigation. We are doing the investigation, we'll find the proof, we'll find the data, and then we will present that. So this is you know, this is just one of the many. If right now to take a look, brokers right now glitches all over the place, wait till the dust settles down. This could be ugly for a few weeks or so. Patience is key, just enjoy seeing glitches for now. Because if you take a look at this. Riddle me this, if a stock has been reverse split and an outstanding shares is now 51.9 million, how do you return more than exists and still have short interest? The proof is in the pudding, which you guys can see with the borrow change is minus 71 million. So they've returned, of course, more shares than there is shares existing. And in fact, here, 20 million more shares than existing. Now, to give them the benefit of the doubt, this is obviously from Ortec. Ortec actually has 
replied, in which they said, when the stock split re um, results in the ISIN change, there can be large movement displayed. As positions are being transferred from one ISIN to another, this can result in seemingly unusual numbers until all participants in the market data ecosystem are reporting the same terms and using the new identifiers. This may take up to 48 hours. Now, we're going to be absolutely real here. So, of course, this could be the case, and we have 48 hours to see whether or not, you know, that is truly going to happen. However, another angle to be looking at this is that they are, of course, being data overloaded, so they can't try and display the data that they originally wanted to display because this is the real data that is being displayed, and it will take them 48 hours to actually find a way to, again, go back to what they were before and just display the data that they want to show us, that they want to give us to see. So, you know, this could be in many cases out there. Again, I'm curious to what everyone thinks. But yeah, you know, we're seeing so many glitch, and this is just one of them. And again, this is what Autix is saying. But we can see how many firms are being affected by this. You know, Moyes, Wallbody, Busted, Weeble just changed their shares outstanding from 51.92 to 158.38 million now after hours, many hours after the morning conversion. Also, we have different market caps as share out numbers reported by different brokers. So, you know, this is very, very clear. I've already shown, you know, examples. And again, there are still more out there for you guys to find out for we to um, post it. But, you know, so many different data glitches are happening right now. And could this be the fact that this is a trap for the shorts that we are just watching evidence right now. What they're calling as data overload, what they're calling as mistakes in the system to actually be evidence, to actually be proof of what's happening right now. And, you know, you think we are exposing a lot just now. We are just getting started. Just wait. Apes are getting smarter, digging harder, deeper, uncovering connections and collusions like never before. Keep it up. Again, guys, if you have any data, feel free to, of course, tweet it. If you want to at me, I invest, um, I investoration, I, I generation YT, um, I will link is in the description for you guys to go check it out. So, you know, that feel free to do so. Now that is of course what it's happening, you know, because if you take a look at this, AMC has been on the threshold list for 45 days straight. Again, the reason why I think this is important, firstly, something needs to be done about this. But another reason is why is AMC dropping so much in price? You know, we've seen how AMC has dropped. If we take a look um, at where we are right now, AMC has dropped from 35.83 all the way down to 12.43. This is over a 65% drop. Now, the reason why I'm talking about this is because if they're saying that AMC is over, if the price of AMC has already dropped by 65, in fact, which is more than that, why are we still on the threshold list? Why have they not actually delivered the shares? This should be perfect for shorts to be delivering shares, yet they're not, yet they're still over leveraging shorts on AMC. So again, you know, this is a very clear example that they are trying to achieve something more than we think they're doing. They, they think that right now, you know, it's going to be the end, but we know it's not. And that's why they continue on shorting AMC because no one is selling. Big companies are unfortunately going bankrupt, but one that is still standing strong is AMC Improving Fundamentals. Shorts are fucked on the wrong bet. So much energy used last two and a half years for them, all for nothing. You know, again, we have seen recently many, many firms out there, of course, taking damage, um, being affected by the overall economy, by the market. But AMC right now is, of course, in a very good position. And especially after the settlement, we potentially could be raising up to a increasingly uh, large amount of cash, which can, of course, put AMC in a very good place. And that's what we want to see. You know, more is I'm 100% serious when I say this does not bother me, lol. It would bother me if I actually thought this was legit price action. It is not. Someone is going to be first. That's all I have to say. And so, yeah, you know, again, it's what we're talking about with many ape, many AMC investors are confident of AMC's future. They understand that the current movement of AMC isn't real, isn't natural. It isn't because AMC is failing. It isn't because the industry is dying. It is none of that. It is reasons far, far different from that it is because Shorts are so screwed if the AMC price go up, they need to bring the price down so they don't lose billions of dollars. So, you know, hundreds potentially of hedge funds and short sellers out there don't go bankrupt. That is the reason why AMC's price is going down. But apes know that and that's why they're not selling and that's why AMC continues to be, of course, being in a good position. And that's why we continue seeing AMC being on the threshold list as we see 45 days in a row. You know, 
And in our previous video, we covered in terms of what Adam Aaron, why Adam Aaron is silent in terms of the overall lawsuit, why Adam Aaron is, of course, not talking about it. And this is one, this is the article that we were talking about. Now, this is allegedly from a former Wall Street banker. Now, we'll take this with a massive grain of salt, just like you should with this whole video, but take it from this former, now retired Wall Street banker. You're 100% correct in your comments here. Adam is a superb CEO who understands these are tough times. So, you know, this is from, again, like I said, a previous Wall Street banker. And if he agrees with it, and if he truly was a Wall Street banker, then we can obviously understand everything that's happening right now. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys next time.